the holy sacrifice of the Mass, Thursday in the octave of Easter, our entrance antiphon. They praised in unison your conquering hand, O Lord, for wisdom opened mouths that were mute and gave eloquence to the tongues of infants. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins, but the greater power of God to save us through the precious blood of the Lamb as we pray. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd leading us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You take away the sins of the world, you are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. O God, who have united the many nations in confessing your name, grant that those reborn in the font of baptism may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the crippled man who had been cured clung to Peter and John, all the people hurried in amazement toward them. In the portico called Solomon's portico, when Peter saw this, he addressed the people, You children of Israel, why are you amazed at this? And why do you look in so intently at us, as if we had make him, made him walk by our own power or piety? The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. And by faith in his name, this man whom you see and know, his name has made strong, and the faith that comes through it has given him this perfect health in the presence of all of you. Now I know, brothers and sisters, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand 
through the mouth of all the prophets that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away, and that the Lord may grant you times of refreshment, and send you the Christ already appointed for you, Jesus, whom heaven must receive until the times of universal restoration, of which God spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from of old. For Moses said, A prophet like me will the Lord your God raise up for you from among your own kin. To him you shall listen in all that he may say to you. Everyone who does not listen to that prophet will be cut off from the people. Moreover, all the prophets who spoke from Samuel and those afterwards also announced these days. You are the children of the prophets and of the covenant that God made with your ancestors when he said to Abraham, in your offspring, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. For you first, God raised up his servant and sent him to bless you by turning each of you from your evil ways. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. Lord, O Lord our Lord, how glorious your name over all the earth. What is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. You have made him little less than the angels and crowned him with the glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. All sheep and oxen, Yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the seas. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Now the disciples of Jesus recounted what had taken place along the way and how they had come to recognize Jesus in the breaking of the bread. While they were still speaking about this, Jesus stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, 
he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. Jesus took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of this Gospel be in our sins. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, once again we have this great commission differing slightly from the commission we receive at the end of the Gospel of Matthew. This one is about the witness and the charismatic faith, the deposit of faith, as it were, that Jesus speaks about in Matthew when he says, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. He gives, once again, these 11 the power to authentically interpret what all of the scriptures, Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms speak about the passion, the day of the Lord, that this is not a ghost speaking these things, but one glorified who still bears the marks of his sacrifice, but those which the earth, which the world had thought were the cause of death and the end of Jesus and his ministry, we know are the ultimate source of our healing and eternal life. How incredibly wonderful for these apostles, these 11, to be able to touch those glorified wounds. Thomas himself will be invited in a special way to touch and see that what the world thought was the cause of death is the source of our eternal life. Amen, alleluia. Amazed by God's glory shining in the resurrection, we pray, hear our prayer, God of life, as we respond to these petitions, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that Christians everywhere may share the peace they have found in the risen Lord Jesus. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the pontificate of Francis, our Pope, for the ministry of Stephen Reka, Bishop of Gaylord, and all of our brother bishops in communion with the Pope. We pray in a very special way for Bishop Reka as he makes his transformation to the Diocese of Birmingham, Alabama, and for the people of that diocese awaiting him. We pray for our own diocese and Pope Francis that he will send us a shepherd after Jesus' own heart to succeed Bishop Stephen, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray, pray that Christ may cast fear and doubt from the hearts of the newly baptized and lead those still awaiting the sacraments at the vigil of Pentecost, our elect, our candidates for full communion and our confirmandes. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that all nations may find joy in the God of salvation. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. 
We pray that we may be startled by the presence of Christ Jesus shining in the margins of society. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray that we may find hope and joy in the presence of Christ among us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for all of those who are in need of healing, whether in mind, body, spirit, or heart, that they find the one true and eternal font of healing through the power of the name, Jesus Christ, the Nazarene. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of those suffering from the coronavirus and from all communicable diseases. We pray in a very special way for all of the healthcare workers, especially those on the front lines, that they find their true strength in the charity of the heart of Jesus Christ himself, pierced for us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our beloved dead, especially the deceased of this parish family, St. Paul and St. Monica, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of the attentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray for all of the souls in purgatory and for those souls who have no one to pray for them. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the salvation of souls and the conversion of sinners. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here, that taking from this altar, Jesus who shares himself with us, that we become by his power, his living sign, of his hand reaching out to save, calling the world to life through his holy name, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we praise you, God of wonder, for in Christ Jesus you have startled us with joy and cast out our fear. Give us courage to proclaim our Easter faith, May we recognize and serve your Christ in the poor and oppressed, so that one day come to touch and see the risen one face to face. For Jesus Christ lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. the mystery of this water and wine. May we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be acceptable to you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, O Lord, our God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquities. Cleanse me from my sins. <clears throat> Pray, beloved that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously be pleased, O Lord, to accept the sacrificial gifts we offer joyfully, both for those who have been reborn and in hope of your increased help from heaven, 
Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly hours, powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, 
We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. And we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. And grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew your church, which is in Gaylord, by the light of the gospel. Strengthen the bond of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people, together with Francis, our Pope, Stephen, our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops, that in a world torn by strife, your people may shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, with St. Paul, St. Monica, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the risen Lord Jesus be with you always and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death, brought life to the world, freely by the mercy of most holy body and blood, from all my sins and from Keep me always faithful to your teachings and never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep us all safe for eternal life. And may the blood of Christ keep us all safe for eternal life. Is past our lips as food, O Lord. May we receive in purity of heart that what we receive in time may be our healing for eternity. Amen. Our communion antiphon. O chosen people, proclaim the mighty works of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Alleluia. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring us your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and in his compassion defend you from every assault of sin. And the church responds, Amen. And may he who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten, endow you with the prize of immortality. And the church responds, Amen. Now that the days of the Lord's passion have drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and exalting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. And we respond, Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, alleluia, alleluia. sisters. Um, once again, know and remember that you are in my daily prayers. It is my firm hope that each of you receive the peace of the risen Lord Jesus, especially through the Immaculate Heart 
of the one he chose to be his mother on earth, Mary Most Holy, and the compassionate heart of Saint Joseph, that the peace and the harmony of the Holy Family of Nazareth may reign in your hearts and in your homes. Pray with me in silence as I pray this prayer from St. Thomas Aquinas, Thanksgiving after Mass. I give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, who have been pleased to nourish me, a sinner, and your unworthy servant, with the precious body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, this through no merit of mine, but due solely to the graciousness of your mercy. I pray that this Holy Communion may not be for me an offense to be punished, but a saving plea for forgiveness. May it be for me the armor of faith and the shield of goodwill. May it cancel my faults, destroy concupiscence and carnal passion, increase charity and patience, humility and obedience, and all the virtues. May it be a firm defense against the snares of all my enemies, both visible and invisible, the complete calming of my impulses, both of the flesh and of the spirit, a firm adherence to you, the one true God, and the joyful completion of my life's course. And I beseech you to lead me a sinner to that banquet beyond all telling, where with your Son and the Holy Spirit, you are the true light of your saints, fullness of satisfied desire, eternal gladness, consummate delight, and perfect happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, know and remember that you are loved. To Jesus Christ, our sovereign King, who is the world's salvation, all praise and homage do we bring with thanks and adoration. Christ Jesus, victor, Christ Jesus, ruler, Christ Jesus, Lord,